You are now watching AK Debris on YouTube. It's your boy AK, man. How are they? How are they? Now, like most of my... I don't know. Let me tell you something. There's something, if you haven't already known, called divide and conquer. To conquer a nation, for example, um, that nation is easily controlled when they're divided versus united. Some people suggest that's why the world is so divided right now, specifically the Western world. Um, you know, you hear terms like far left, far right. Why you got to be far? Why can't it just be right or left? Anyway, this ain't our topic. You know, the style of my videos is, you know, I ramble, I rant. So my video might be about Jeffrey Dahmer, uh, documentary that Boosie was my, and I end up talking about Alexander the Great and the book burning. But here's the thing though, bro. I just got removed on Facebook. Removed as a friend because I stated this opinion. First of all, shout out to all the white people who, you know, stand against racism. I love all y'all. And I love racist people as well. What? Yeah. Let me explain. As most of you know, I'm from Arabia. And I've seen these ideologies spread out. Uh, so look, I just met an Indian dude who briefed me about, you know, situation in India. I'd like to have him soon for an episode, interview him. And, you know, through him and my own previous research, whatever, something started to click. So this is what I realized, bro. The British Empire divided India into four countries. So the British Empire divided these huge nations into micro-nations, Pakistan, India, whatever the fuck. So I've realized through my research um, for this documentary I got coming soon about a convicted Saudi terrorist uh, I got to learn about how terrorism as we know it in the past 20 years, you know, the 9-11 people, how all of this started. I'll tell you, and you'll see how it all relates. The year 1979, Soviet Union invades Afghanistan. Arabia and the U.S. are BFF. My best friend, my bestie. <laughs> Woo! If my bestie get, get in a fight, obviously I got to stand with my bestie. Huh? So, Arabia being besties, they told their people, with Islam though, they said, hey, listen, you fight the Soviets, you go to heaven, you get 76 virgins in heaven. <laughs> That's where it started. So, the people that went out there and fought or whatever are the same people who end up becoming Al Qaeda later on ISIS. You know the story. But you see where the ideology came from. It didn't come from people. And was it to benefit somebody in heaven? Nah, bro. Because there's so few who could make their money. <laughs> Communism is not, why is it bad? Because of business interest. Think. Racism, hating the black man and slavery, that wasn't because they hated black people. That wasn't because black people, had, it's not. Nah. Slavery was an economic project. Slavery was your first corporation, 1800 to 1860. Cotton was your number one export. Grown by whom? 
Just a second. Slaves. Four million Americans worth $3.5 billion. The number one asset in your economy was people who look like me. What is that called? A history lesson? A head start. Replaced by a billion dollar prison industry that pays its inmates pennies. America is not alone. Correct. Children so are close. Sweatshops build our phones. And Vibiro saves millions of lives. Do you think that those lives care where it comes from? If you had a company, you could just, you know, buy a few people. <laughs> Ain't that cheap? Think about the profit. You get it? So my response to her was, let's not fuel the fire. If I get it, racism is bad, but a racist person is like a drug addict. He needs help. He wants love. His intentions, when you dig and get to know him, are good. You feel me? If we go about the situation, how she was saying, are we going to fix anything? You're just going to... Right, she said kill racists. Cool. If you go and do that, you kill the racists, they kill you, and this war is continuous. Then what? You only fuel their ideology more. And yours, probably, you know. But what if we come at it with love, bro? What if we understand and educate them? And I don't mean school, nigga. I mean talk to a person. Love wins. Motherfucker. Bitch ass nigga. Listen. You can go kill a few races. They're going to kill you back. And it can go on. I lived through war my whole life. I know how ugly war gets. I'm saying, how about... Because people at the top are happy with this. Me versus you. Gay versus trait. Left, right. Muslim, whatever the fuck. Imagine if all y'all came together. Ooh, it's dangerous. You get it, son? You don't fight fire with fire. Sometimes you got to, but this is a war of ideologies. The racist dude think he doing the right thing. The terrorists that I'm the video coming soon, you're going to see me tell you his personal story. Uh, terrorism is bad. But when you get to hear dude and why he became quote unquote terrorist, like damn son, he, he wanted to do good. He thought he did good. It was just misdirected. Hit like, smash subscribe, share motherfucker. I'll see you in the next one. Coming soon too.